In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Monday, August 14th, 2023. And with this problem, we need to solve this equation, 1 3rd plus a is equal to 5 fourths, and we need to determine what a is equal to. And equations like these are typically seen either at the end of a pre-algebra class, or you might see these for the first time in Algebra 1, depending on where you go to school. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through this. And you might notice that this is a one-step equation, though it has fractions, which makes it a little bit more complicated. This is very similar to the equation 3 plus a is equal to 5. To solve an equation like this, to find a by itself, we need to cancel out this positive 3 on the left-hand side. We need to get a by itself. Now, with something like this, you can think it through that 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, but when these numbers become more complicated, like here, we won't be able to guess them so easily. So we need a more mathematical process to determine what our variable is. And since this is a positive number, you can imagine this is having a plus sign in front of it if you want. To cancel out positive numbers, we can use subtraction. If we subtract 3 here, positive 3 minus 3, that's just 0. Though we can't just subtract 3 from one side of the equation, we need to do that from both sides of the equation so that we don't change anything. And again, 3 minus 3, that's 0. So we just have a on the left-hand side, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And this right here will be the final answer for this example. So that's our general strategy. We still need to find a, but now we have this positive one third plus a. So let's start by just rewriting this, but we wanna get a by itself. That is our goal here. And to do that, we need to get rid of this positive one third. We need to cancel it out. And since it is a positive number, if we subtract, that quantity from each side of the equation, then on the left hand side, we'll just be left with a since one third minus one third is zero. So we get a is five over four minus one over three. And since we're subtracting fractions, remember when adding or subtracting, we need to find a common denominator. And one thing you can always do is take your denominators and multiply them together. Sometimes, you can find smaller denominators than this, but in this case, 12 is actually the smallest possible denominator. It is the least common multiple of those two numbers. But for instance, if they were four and two, since four is a multiple of two, we can use four as a denominator in that case. So sometimes multiplying together will give you a bigger denominator than you might need, though it will still work. So you can always use that method. So let's rewrite these with denominators of 12. And notice that we multiplied this four by three to get to 12. So we need to do the same to the numerator. We multiply top and bottom by three. So this numerator is now 15. And for this fraction, this denominator of three was multiplied by four to get 12. So we need to do that to the numerator, meaning that we have minus four twelfths. And of course, you can check this by just resimplifying and show that you get back the original fractions. Now, once we have that common denominator, we have 15 of these twelfths, and we're taking away 4 of these twelfths. So 15 minus 4 is 11, and in the end, we will have 11 twelfths remaining. Now, this is what we think is the answer. This is what we think A is equal to. And to check our work, we just plug it back in. We have 1 3rd plus 11 twelfths, and hopefully that does simplify to 5 fourths. But when you do add them together, you will see that it does simplify to 5 fourths. And I will leave that as an exercise to the viewer.